close your eyes and try to find a still center inside, right where the breath is coming in, going out. Wherever you feel the breathing in the body, let your mind get centered there and see if you can make it still. Not reaching out after things. Because when you reach out, what do you reach out to? Well, you've got this world. The world is spinning around. It's like reaching out to a, a wheel. It's turning and turning and turning around. It's very easy to get your hand caught, get pulled along. You get pulled along and you get spun around and you get dizzy. And then you don't know which way is up, which way is down. And when you step back from the world a little bit, then you get a sense, okay, what's right and what's wrong. And, thing that, and you see the things that get you stuck on the wheel. Or just a few things. Just There's material gain and there's loss. There's status, loss of status. There's praise, there's criticism. There's pleasure and there's pain. These are the things the world has to offer. And they're the traps that get us stuck. But the problem is that we stick ourselves in there. They just go around and around and around doing their own business. But we don't want to stick our fingers in. And we're lucky they don't get sliced off. Sometimes our a large part of our minds, our, our hearts get sliced off by the sorrow that comes when you go for something and it turns into its opposite. So you need to take some time to pull back and find your still center and get away, away from all these things and have a sense of what you really want in life. And you realize it's very little what the world has to offer. And the most important things that you should want in life are the, things, the good things that come from training the mind. This is not going to slice your fingers off. This is what's going to keep you healthy and keep you whole. So try to gain a sense of well-being right here in the still center. Don't press down on it too much. Allow it to develop and grow on its own. And it will develop. In the beginning it doesn't seem like much. Sometimes it's like a huge storm all around and the storm has gotten inside you. But there should be at least some point inside where you can stay still. Lay claim to that. And then gradually as that spot stills down, then the rest, that sense of stillness, can grow and grow and grow, until at the very least inside you is still. And that's how the world is going to spin around. Well, that's just the nature of the world. It keeps on spinning. And you can see the good things and the bad things of the world as, as the John Lee says, it's just decorations along your path. But your real path lies inside, the goodness that comes from the mind, because that's your true treasure. That's what you can take with you as you go through life and as even after life. Just so make sure that this treasure is made healthy and whole. The mind that's quiet and that can look after itself, not cause itself or anybody else any suffering. That's a treasure that's really worth developing, really worth gaining.